Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. What a beautiful day it is to be in Jesus. So, amen. Amen. Brother Thomas with you here, and this is a ministry of Jesus Christ. And today we're talking a little bit about trials. And the trials specifically of today. The trials that the body of Christ, the church, faces today. And they are many. Now, the Lord does allow trials. We go through trials and we, we learn from them and we grow in our relationship with him and we are strengthened. And uh, like I said, our wisdom, our knowledge, our understanding are increased. And so trials are not uh, always a bad thing, okay? They do have positive consequences. But today, as we look around at what's happening and where we are in the church age, it's become pretty clear that we are in a time of trials. Absolutely. Our faith is being tested. And it's only going to be more tested as the days progress, as the events continue to unfold. Folks, we are living out the pages of the Bible just as they are written to be. The Bible is not a book that was for then or you know, had a beginning and end back then. And so now we just kind of read it and you know, figure out how it can help us live better lives. No, we are the they, the them, and the us of the Bible. We're still living in those pages. And so the same things apply to the church today that has always applied to the church. And, and in especially those things which apply to these days, this part of the church that we're seeing. And the testings are mighty. We will be called, as it was in the days of the early church, we will be called before leaders and magistrates, people of power and authority, to give an account. As it is now, there are authorities that hear what we have to say and pull, you know, pull us down, change, won't let us, you know, all the censorship of those things. And we get called before. And how will we respond? How do we respond? Do we respond as the disciples did? Peter and John, when they were called before the leaders and told to stop preaching and teaching in this name of Jesus. And said, well, you know, is it better that we hearken unto you or hearken unto God? Do we do what God has given us to do or do we listen to you and not? Well, we think it's better to do what God has called us to do and you know, so we're going to listen to God. And you know, of course they were reprimanded and at different points there were beatings and imprisonments and stonings and all kinds of things that went on for the disciples that they faced. But they preached on. They taught on, they lived on in the faith. And that's no different for us today, especially today as we see the absolute line in the sand, the dark and the light, the good and the evil, so very distinctly separated. Gray, not much gray area anymore. It's all pretty black and white. It really is. Uh, it's, it's right or it's not. You know? And so testing, mm -hmm. and, and they're gonna put us to the test on that. And there'll be temptations, political temptations, religious temptations, all these things. Ah, oh, just relax. We'll take care of you. Stay in the faith. Stay in the faith. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And that's a tall. That's 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 going to be a tall order. Because there's a lot. Uh, you know, we've had it pretty easy. Those of us who live in America, in particular, as far as persecution and those kinds of trials and tribulations and compared to many of our brothers and sisters around the world. And we're seeing an increase that is far beyond what we're accustomed to. We better get used to it. It's not going to get any better. The trials are going to keep coming. The tribulation is you know, at the door, folks. No more. <laughs> No more cheating, no more putting it off. There's no high, there's no, none of that. It's over. Time to stand up for the Lord from beginning to end. Oh, yeah. And like I said, there'll be temptations to, to go left or to go right or to make it easier on yourself. Just take this mark, you know, yeah. <laughs> and it'll be fine folks temptations come and we're all tempted and basically with the same temptations there's no temptation that is unique to only you and no one else has ever experienced it no we're all really quite common now when they happen in our lives and the purpose of them is varies from person to person but the temptation itself it's the same and God always provides an escape. Yes, he does. There is never a time when we need to surrender and sin because there was no escape. There is always an escape. We need to see it. Sometimes we don't see it. You know, we're so busy looking at you know, figuring it out first and whether we miss God's answer. Shame on us. That's something that we need to be encouraged to stop, <laughs> especially in these days, this time and, and what we're doing. And trust the Lord completely, 100% completely trust the Lord and his word. The days in which we live demand it. Nothing less will do. Oh, that we might hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant, when it's over. But in the meantime, serve, serve faithfully, trust, do not compromise. This is not a time for compromise. This is the time for standing, standing in Jesus' name, standing in Jesus' name, proclaiming the truth without compromise. We will see the glory of God revealed in it. We truly will. And there is in the encouragement, while there will be persecutions, Oh, you're one of them Jesus believing people from all the elites out there, the intellectuals, the wise of this world, as they are called. There will be afflictions. Yes, indeed. We see them around us today in many ways. The trials are upon us. All of these things, God would have you to know today that it's okay. God's got us. And while we face them today, they are but for a moment, and they lead to an eternal glory, God's eternal glory. And they are for his purposes. And they do make sense.
even if we don't see the sense of them now. We will trust the Lord. Not by faith, not by sight, by the things we see going on around us today. But by faith. God already knows all these things. They're all a part of God's purpose, God's will, God's plan. And that what we see and how it's taking place and how it's shaping up is just as God had promised. God is faithful and true. His promises are true and every one will be kept perfectly in ways we can't even understand how perfectly kept they are. We only see the surface of the perfection of the completion. Wait till we see what the real detail of it is. Awe-inspiring indeed. So stand today, it's okay, it's worth it. <laughs> it is definitely worth it. So stand today, stay in Jesus, stay focused. Don't compromise. Don't compromise. the power of the very Spirit of God that works in you, the very Christ who dwells in you and lives out through you to others, by the power of God, we shall see the glory of God revealed in absolute perfection. So as these things continue to happen around us, brothers and sisters in the world today out there, uh, we're in it, we're not of it, but we're in it. Whatever place you live on the face of the earth, we each in our own ways and places are seeing these things unfold. But do not be afraid. God is with you. God is with us and he has already won the victory. That's what's being revealed. The victory that is already won in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Stand and see it with excitement. Yes, these are exciting times to be alive. Exciting times to be the children of God, for his perfect word is being fulfilled right before our eyes, in our ears, knowing it in our hearts and minds. Spirits turn to God in worship, true worship. Our faith confirmed by the very events the devil would use to destroy us. Instead, they are the opposite. They speak to us and say, God is true. God said it would be this way, and it is. He's doing exactly what God said he would do. The enemy is, the world is, all that is against God is confirming the fact that God is God. And God has said the victory is already won. Stand and see the salvation of God. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, and praise the Lord. Get ready. Be ready. The world, and they don't know, but he is coming. Yes, he is. Lord, in Jesus' holy and blessed name, be encouraged and exhorted to stand in these days. Oh, stand in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.